All right, y'all. So it's AGP here, and you know, when we pause this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little reaction video. Now, I did. I recorded this when it happened live. Um, I didn't record my face in it because it was in Japanese. It was three or four o'clock in the morning. Because um, if anybody knows, I'm in live in the U.S. Japan is about 13 hours ahead of us. So when with them, it was it was evening. Um, of the next day, but it was it was morning or not even of the next day. It was evening of the same day, but for us it was like three or four in the morning. So I was halfway falling asleep while trying to record and watch this. But I'm here with this. Um, I'm gonna probably make a few videos about this. This is just my reaction video, but we're gonna do a breakdown because there's a lot going on here, um, and we get the best insight we've had so far into what is going on in the game and what you can actually do. The reason why um, Hideo Kojima looks like he really is trying to create a new genre for video games is because this this has a mix of so many different things that it's almost gonna make you it, it's it can be a little overwhelming but maybe not because like I think one of the complaints that some people may have is that we're so used to these open world games nowadays that have bustling cities and a lot of activities going on NPCs doing a whole lot of different things whereas in Death Stranding it's not really like that it's more of a desolate area but we haven't really seen too much of the inner city stuff but most of the cities are pretty destroyed but you know there's communities there because you have to connect each other one way or another so we're gonna do that we're gonna sit here we'll watch this and um you know we're just gonna talk about it uh but i think that might be something that people will be like it's a third person game it's open world but there's not much in the world and you know, but that's because it's it's pretty post-apocalyptic um, from the void outs that we've heard from the other story breakdowns and things that we've heard and that I've put out. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you feel me? And uh, let's jump into this, alright? It is in Japanese, so, you know, we're mostly going to be doing eye tests here as to what the hell we think is going on. It's all speculation, because I don't know what to say. Now y'all yeah, remember in the briefing trailer where he said like you did to me, that was in English, where he was talking about the cuffs that he put on him. I was still confused. This looks very much kind of like a prison ass type thing. Some real like convict lease system type thing. It just, I don't know. We'll see as to how um, Sam even got involved with this. And, like, I mean he obviously was a carrier with them before Death Stranding as the event happened, but I don't know. We got a rope and stuff. But just to start off, obviously the graphics and everything are beautiful. Uh, this is his personal room. Now we saw more of that in the second video, but I'm going to put that one out. 30 minute for the second day. He was in the room for most of it doing all kinds of things. That was a dream catcher? Oh, shit. Bridges, the thing on the back says Bridges. I think right now he's just explaining to him what he needs him to do, or what he's gonna have to do while he's out there. But look at this, isn't that like somebody following you around a prison room making sure, you know, you're doing all the stuff you need to be doing? This feels very yeah. wild. Cause we don't even know if Sam has the, is, is allowed to leave whenever he wants to or not. You know he's okay with putting our asses out there to possibly die. But that's another story. I just realized that Harmon was another I didn't even notice. Not even damn, that's no good. I, 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 Capital Not City. So, well, we know that's where the bridges is located at least. Also, there's going to be different places where you can go into bridges. They show that later. Like, there's, there's different locations where you can do the kinds of things that you're about to do right now. Um, in other words, like, there's like, uh, not waypoints, but you know, like, areas where you'll be able to go in and change the, the stuff that you're carrying and I'm sure his outfit and everything else. Yeah, the army got the, the nerve to, to send us around. But he won't even come out here to say, to say, to, to say bye. Okay, 
はい、ここでミッションを受注しますね。はい。はい、really cool、であのキャピタルモットシティからポートモットまでの道のり、これ 3D でありますここまで運びます。So kind of tough. はい。Let's first look at this map. えー、っと、ここではしごロープ、靴を2つ、really、作れます。Like、これ何でも作れます。Um, 材料を使いますけど。Now, as you can see, we're going to push this back a little here. これが薬。Let's see. I'll go back a little. We'll try to pause it when I get there. Okay. Can see that? That's good. Okay. We're right here. Uh, well, you can see well, under this thing. Oh, backed up too far. You can see under this thing. That there are different boots here.、Uh, obviously, you can decide you know, you, you know, which ones you use. This is for the exosuit. Um, you know, you get a golden one if you pre order that deluxe edition. But、uh, this probably also helps with, like, it has numbers 120, 180, you know, or 160, if that's a, a 120. Now, there's two sides. I don't know what these symbols stand for yet. Obviously, we'll find that out later. They have them down here, but again, it's in Japanese, so I don't know.、Um, but. You know, and then you'll see that these numbers they'll turn red or like this is 24, 32, 12, 16, and they'll turn red and stuff、uh, to let you know what attributes you're losing and which ones you're gaining as if it was like a gun in Call of Duty or something like that,、um, as far as damage and all that goes. So, like right here,、uh, like this, you know, there's minus 20. I said again, we don't know what these symbols are, but you know. はい。バランス悪いんでこれから配分していきますね、はい、でグレネードはツールハンガーにかけても荷物にしてもいいですしなんですけどここにあのポーチがありますのでここに入れますこれ荷物も全部重さがあるんであの武器も装備もはいで血液パックも、えー、ポーチに入れましたではしごもツールにかけてもいいし荷物にしてもいいし肩腰にかけてもいいしこれどこかかるんでかけてもいいしどこにつけるかこれバランスがした黄色いので重心変わるんであ本当ですねブーツは二つ持っていくんですけどブーツハンガーにかけますでリピアスプレーはまあ頭に He looked like, now that's this part crazy though, that it shows that the more weight on him, I mean, that's just realistic, right? That it actually does affect your movement speed and things of that nature.、Um, to have all this mess is kind of wild. And then y'all know you can get that portable one that, that moves behind you. But this is mad stuff. Hey, yo. And it tells you 69.8 kilograms, 120 kilograms. I guess one's of. I don't know, it was two measurements, but we don't know.、Uh, oh, know. So maybe it's out of how many you can carry. He's carrying almost half of it, or more than half of it. How's that in English? One new standard order is added. Everything else is in Japanese. That's hilarious. でここで主観のボタンを押すとコンパスモード、これ直線距離で山を2つ越えなさいというトリガー。で、ここでじゃあ自分でルートで1回を決めます。で、マップでラインを引いて、ラインを引なんで、ルートどこからでも行けるので、それをまた全部装備も考えながら、体力を考えながら、ここも途中で割るやつもいるんで、これ 3D もなるので、斜面を登るか迂回するか、カバーを超えるか遠回りするかって決めます。で、ここでライン引くと、このように 3D で。This looks like a damn air, like, terminal, you know, something that the government would have to do. これはホログラムで見送りをしてきます。えー、たった一人です。何もしてくれません。But I'm sure Bridges has something to do with the government. I mean, obviously, you know, the president. He's like, he's about to fall over. If you have to keep him balanced, I'd just be like, that's ridiculous. You just need to not carry so much damn stuff. で、これ、結構進んだところですけど、コミュニケーションボタンっていうのを押すと、こういう小玉が、誰も返事しないじゃないですか。たった一人なんです。Now, they were talking about too, yeah, just so you know, like the way you interact with 
people because there is a multiplayer aspect it looks like you'll be able to see things that people may have left where there will be certain markers that'll show that there was somebody else who was playing this game that was there or they were in that area or they can leave things that can help you on your journey and i think you can leave things that can help them on their journey which is dope so I'm just putting the sunglasses on, so it's very customizable. I mean, that's tough. Well, see, this also further shows, like, what I was saying earlier, that's just like, this open world aspect is beautiful, but it's just like, obviously, it's not like the open world games we're used to, third person, where there's just a lot going on, there's almost nothing going on out here, at least in this gameplay, but I feel like, you know, there's, like I mentioned in my other video, there's very easy mode, this could be like a very easy mode, just so, you know, to, to just to show off, you know, uh, it's... Oh shit. If you fall and you, you drop stuff, you have to remember to get your stuff too. They'll talk about that later too, where you have to if you if you end up in a fight or something and you decide to take off your bag and leave it somewhere, you gotta remember to go pick it up before you head to your next destination. Um things do fall off you as you can see. Dog. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you have to catch your breath. It's going to take a long time to play this game just for stuff like that. Like, having to catch your breath and stuff. Boy, I don't know why they have him carrying so much ish, though. My save was going to have, like... Definitely less than half of his max capacity. Because I'm getting into fights and things. I mean, it's dope because it's so interactive, but it's like... It's just like a lot of... It's just... It's, 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 got, it's got so many aspects. And it's like a key on one. We also don't. I mean, I'm really excited for this game. I just want to know, like, what, like, you know, like, how it's gonna play out. Like, I'm gonna be playing this, by the way. So y'all know, like, I'm gonna have to post about it. I'll either stream about it or do videos on demand or both. But I'm about to pre-order my John, actually. Uh oh, nah, the thing is, what if he fell? Lose hella health and your baby. With all that supernatural stuff, like BT is trying to catch your ass, if you fall and die, that, that, that's just... That's just embarrassing. Ooh, cargo placed in grenade pouch. Well, we had the damn, uh, <laughs> the raffle in the freaking grenade pouch. It's just so funny being excited for a game that you don't virtually, there's just so many questions about, naturally. Because Hideo Kojima is trying to make it so there's questions, you know, that's not that's not done by accident, people. This is all on purpose, it's all intentional. I know the scenery and everything is going to be so... It'll be so beautiful, but it's just like... It's nice though having that room, that private room that I think you'll be able to go into whenever you want to, essentially. I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, but places for you to recoup, kind of. Like, my is going to be recouping after every big battle. Especially when we start running into Higgs um, and Cliff. Because those two are just two badasses, bro. They look like they are going to cause a lot of problems for us. Uh, 
で踏ん張りながら行くとより安全ですねでミュージシャンの家がありましたあで、まあ、で and like this like that shows a little、uh, symbol I assume these are all like safe house type places Uh, we saw this in the Gamescom gameplay.、Um, this might be one of the places where you drop off one of your packages. Whoever lost cargo is in English and then the rest of it is in Japanese. That is hilarious. <laughs> Bridges is in English. で地下に住んでるんでいやさすがにお礼に出てきますけど上までは出てこない。なるほど。You know what else I wonder? Well, I'm sure it will have, but it'll tell you what areas or what cities that you've already that you've reconnected. Like, if you, once you make a ton of deliveries, it'll probably give you progress thing. I mean, obviously, it would have to, right? Because otherwise, you're like, at what point? Does, uh, like, <laughs> do we know when, when we're supposed to get close to stop or whatever? But this Cupid, so this was one of the terminals that it was talking about in the、um, the briefing trailer、uh, that was the leak. But the official briefing trailer, so this is what the Cupid does. This is how you start the connecting process.、Um, so that's one of the terminals. You see what I'm saying? So they, in this situation, they've connected four of them already. <laughs> the lady that was here with Hideo because you had said so cool so many times. This is dope. This is like. So, if you drop off a package, somebody just gives you another one, and you're just like, no. <laughs> でこの後彼の荷物を配達してもいいです。ストーリーの関係なんですけど、あのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあの So, somebody else is obviously here because the same only has one ladder. He only used one to cross if y'all didn't notice. So, the question is like, so, so that's the kind of stuff that they're talking about people leave behind and you know that somebody else was there. That's a cool way to integrate it.、Uh, it feels a lot like Watch Dogs 2 almost, in a sense. I mean, it wasn't as.、Uh, I don't even know what the word is.、Uh, a parent, I don't know if a parent is the word. But, like, people didn't really leave things behind, but you could, you could be traveling through the city and somebody, you know, somebody else who was also playing would be connected to online and they'd be getting chased by the cops. And, you know, you gotta go、uh, either help them or not help them. I don't even remember what the mission is kind of consists of. But, But here they got people leaving their actual ladders and their ropes and things. Why would I say? Massage shoulder, sleep, stand up. So, this is what, kind of what I was feeling like before is that. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to be rude, but damn. I mean, this man's feet is all jacked up. That ain't right. Anyways, back to the video, because I can't. This felt like.
Skate just feels like a mix of a third person action game mixed with Sims, mixed with like. I don't know about GTA because you probably can't just walk up and slap somebody or shoot somebody, but. But also, like, some interesting cinematic, like. で、<笑> Because in Sims, if y'all ever play Sims, you know you're basically playing the game of life, but it's like... This is like that, but like... 2,800,000 other things are going on at the time. See, I don't see any bar going up. But you wonder if like these things make your energy go go up. Maybe that can be depleted and things like that. If you sleep, do you get less tired? You gonna be able to run faster and things if you get an altercation? Like, what is it? プレイヤーの皆さんは寒を寝かしてる間トイレ行ったりしてほしい。コーヒーを作ったり。で、あまりにも疲れると勝手に寝ます。で、今赤いバー。I mean, little red bar that's like pushing forward which probably means he's already really. これ多少回復するんで。Let's be gaining energy and you know. Yes. Now the even down. Now when that happens, then I guess you wake up. Yeah. All right. Well, that answered that question about the bar. But, uh, whether or not it actually shows something it's just like but to travel across the whole country though the whole country on foot i mean i know you get a micro, uh, micro uh, a motorcycle i thought i'd say a microwave like really a microwave anyways like, I know you get a motorcycle, I think you can jump into other cars and trucks. これトムさんが置いたはしごまだ I don't know what this is. I don't know what more cargo. See, the thing is, if you're picking up cargo along the way, that's at random ass spots, too. That could cause some issues. But you know, it, it's already been said that, like, when you help things out, help things out, help people out, and you transport their cargo and things, you could get something in return that can help you on your journey. Who knows? Later on, maybe stronger weapons, maybe better suits, boots. I he just scanned it, but then he replaced it with something, like replaced one thing that he had with, with, with this thing. It's like how you determine what things are more important than others to carry and or transport. Claim cargo, share locker. So this might be what that is. As people play through this, like, um, if you put, like, let's say I pick something up, I'm connected online, I pick something up, I pick share locker, I put something in it, I guess it means anybody can use it. Which is kind of tough. I, I gotta say that stuff. I'm gonna be checking hello lockers, like, please tell me y'all left me something. That's something that could really save your ass, who knows? That's what I'm thinking that's for. I don't know. Again, I'm, I can't. I don't speak Japanese. Cargo aid package is a report, not city order required. Total now for, for, for. See? Like, I think somebody left that. I'd be like, thank you. Like, I'm not trying to carry all this on my back, cuz. Okay. 
So this game is about connecting people in the game as well as connecting in the real world. Ain't that something? Aid medicine pack fully restored. Just picking up a lot of different things that are necessary. So ideally, if y'all get this game, which I hope y'all do, always check the lockers and and everything that you see out here, because you might get something that's really gonna help you out. I pray, you know. So tough. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to figure out what song that is. Mm. Who produced that joint? Hey. Now it's raining. See, I remember when we were discussing about the breakdown about what the game, what what uh, certain aspects of the game are like things that look like rain and it's actually time fall. So when it hits your skin, you age really fast in a short amount of time. We also know that Sam has certain abilities that make it so they don't affect him much. Um, but I wonder what that does, like, like, cause like if that was rain, like. I don't know if you're traveling throughout the city. Can you do you happen to go by certain people that it's affecting? And you try to help them or something? I mean, probably, I guess. But who knows? And the fact that you can ride this thing, this cargo carrier, it's tough. I feel like I will use that almost all the time. Oh, it's now we're in a base camp, y'all, and I think he's trying to be as stealth as possible. Um, because these things, these guys are around. These damn mofos look like the things in Monsters, Inc. You know the monsters that used to come in if somebody was, I think it was called the CDC. Something like that. Like if you got a kid's clothing on you, and they come in there, they bust you down, shave you. What they did to that dude? Shaved him. I feel like his name was Mike. No, it wasn't Mike. That was that was. That was, that was, that was a clean takedown. That was some Hitman John. Okay, okay. But that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a mix of you know, Assassin's Creed slash Hitman. Or, you know, anybody who's played the Metal Gear Solid series, it's a lot like that, too. That was more populated, though, although maybe not much more than this. Metal Gear Solid 5 like... You really did mostly only run into people when you were going to certain camps. Okay, See, I'm going to look at this real quick, uh, container repairs. This was a smooth takedown, but that's not what I'm going to do. Right here, right? I'm pausing this just because I just try to look at all the stuff that they can, that you can do and use and, and stuff. So, shows you what you have in storage. Mule post box. I don't really know what that means. Speed skeleton. So that's what it is. The exosuit I keep it's really a skeleton thing, but it's a speed one, so it does make you run faster. Uh, Bola gun level one. So that's another thing. All these things have levels next to them, so you know it's very RPG ish. Um, the floating carrier. I love it. We need that on boot clip. Bridges boots level one. Obviously, you can level all these things up. Um, on boot clip, I don't know what that means. You could probably have boots that maybe you can, you can carry other things in it. Who knows? This grenade pouch seems to be pretty goddamn full. You got three different grenades. Well, two of them are the same grenade. And one of them, I don't know what the X grenade number zero is. But I'm sure we will find out. Blood bag. Utility pouch. Blood bag. Who knows what you? why you would need a blood bag? I don't, I don't really know. Now, that's over on the right here. It shows... Um, the damage that your speed skeleton, I guess, can do. Um, container damage, uh, what it, uh, unless it's showing you what, or unless it's showing you that there's no damage done to it, and then here they're showing you there's, a, there's some container damage, um, is what that could be. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to look at that real quick. Okay, let's do this. Wild. Carry on back. Equip active skeleton. Carry by hand offload. I'm gonna just try to figure out. That's the bola gun over there on the right. Well, it was over there on the right. Right here. This bola gun right here. 
I think that for the gun, it's gotta be telling you what damage it can do. Or maybe it is the ability to damage that they can do. Only Hideo Kojima and his assistant know. And everybody at Kojima Production, I guess. See now, that was some dumb ass stuff, Sam. Who, who just runs down the middle of a freaking camp that you're trying to be stealth in? I'm sure they did it on purpose to show off the combat in this, but now it's like, I'm not gonna play for a speed skeleton, he's moving kind of slow. Took out the bowler gun. You look like you're getting sniped, sir. Uh oh. So the bowler gun doesn't do damage, it just. I mean, it doesn't do damage, it like incapacitates people. It's like shooting a freaking chain at them and tying them up. Now, I see that people always gr drop stuff, too. Now, I use it as a weapon. I wonder if you can use it for anything else. Like, you know, if they drop something that's useful. Okay, this thing can move. He ran next to a truck! Get your ass out, stupid A Town Stomp. What? They ain't tell me Sam was from the south side of the, of the of wherever he's from. <laughs> that was a gangster stomp. Are you gonna take somebody? You gonna throw him out the truck and he just stomp on him? Like, yeah. But he jumped in the truck like full life. That's gangster. So now they shot that the the, the shock the I assume there's gonna be different types of ammo. This is shock damage, kind of like a Borderlands thing. But this is shock damage, so they shut down the truck real fast. They're throwing spears like they did in the Olympics for javelin. That was some nonsense. He threw that jump kind of far. Uh oh, get your balance. My man had a backup. Take flight. Hey! That's tough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's tough. See, I'm different. See, this, see, like, okay, when I first saw this, I was like, okay, now, you know, because they're, they're showing us very little bit. This man can move. He's haul assing, but this bar is getting lower, so. Um, it's energy. I assume. Or maybe. I wonder if you have to ever recharge the skeletons that are around you. Maybe, um, you know, maybe you can only use them once, like once their bar goes down, they're done. Maybe they can't really be repaired. で、こっからちょっと怖いとこです。え、BT というのが今して、目に見えない奴らがいます。これはあの、あの世のものなんで、雨降ってくると今。雨降ってくると、ま、荷物もでっかするんですけど、ここはですね、嫌な人を迂回
It's nice seeing, well not nice seeing the cities destroyed like this, but I'm just like, it's good actually getting a first look to see what these cities do kind of look like. And then the BT's in game. Uh, yeah. Now remember, these things can't hear, can't see you either. But they can hear you and they're waiting for that ass. Just be honest. See, and as he holds his breath, the, the, the bar gets depleted as well, so... Uh... See, it looks like he's pretty damn close to these BTs, and they're still not reacting, so I wonder how close you can... Wait, those things affect the BTs? How can an electrical shot... So these things are obviously physical, then. Well, that is nice to know. That you can actually hurt them, or one way or another. I mean, if that shit is chasing you, you're gonna be kind of curious as to like. But damn it, shake it off. Damn, this thing is gonna pull you into hell. You're not shaking hard enough, Sam. Damn. 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 Now you've seen this in the trailers and all that. It's it's interesting to see how it happens in the actual game. They bring you to the the theme in the fight. What? Unless he break out of that. Well, wow. oh my lord. See, he gonna need to go put this this package down somewhere. This thing can move. Oh, hell no, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now. These are the grenades. Throw that, John! Damn, dog. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 move, bro. Yeah, nah. Yeah, right. Those look like incendiary grenades. I hope we can set these drones on fight. Well, run your ass. It's a good thing this thing looks to be pretty slow, but then again, we also don't know what mode we're playing in. What if this is easy mode and then there's a, a more difficult mode and this thing moves that much faster? And I'm actually kind of terrified. Like, I'm not. Well, I had a backup, yo. My, my legs are. Um. Yeah, this ain't it. And it can travel in this, this tar or whatever. Hell of a jump. Shooting beams and things. I just can't. Grenade use a hand. From who? Who is he talking to? Okay, y'all see that? This thing is really throwing you stuff now. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what that that is. And I'm, I'm, you know, again, I'm gonna do another video of a breakdown where I'm gonna have all this info, and I'm actually gonna talk about it. This really is pretty much my raw reaction. Like I only saw it once, and like I said, I was in and out of sleep because it was so late. But you see that that looks like Sam, and it looks like he's throwing himself stuff, and he's like, could use some help here. I don't know who he's talking to, but that's kind of dope, though, right? Like. You can really kind of call for help. You're like, yo, I'm out of grenades, but what is it? You know, it's like, what is it? What is it that that's helping you? Lord have us mercy. I just feel like you're always low on guns and ammo in this. 
I'm sure you get, okay, you get upgrades and things. But it's just like, fam, I need as much as possible. <laughs> like, what do you need? I'd be like, everything. And a lot of it. I don't know what the hell I'm about to run into out here. It's a bunch of dead, not dead people. And supernatural beings. With... I got a dude with an army who's connected to his cables through like an umbilical cord type thing. And you've got another dude who just runs a whole homo uh, terrorist group. Or what is it? Homo, it's like a homo. What is it? Homo gene. What is it? I don't know, they're the homo demons and they're a terrorist group, that's what it is. But now, that's the stuff that he had with him, but you would think after you could take down a boss like that, you could get some. Like if it was Sekiro or something. You probably can, but... See. see the different terrain side by side here. I hope they show the map here. I mean, it's saying cold as hell. Look, he's freezing. But... I kind of want to see the map here to see, like... Like, see the stuff side by side? You can pretty much see the terrain from the map, from the overhead map. I think that you'll be running into. So you can just kind of stop it there. And then, the recharging spring. And you bathe. I mean, this is all really dope. It took a lot of thought and time. I'm sure. そんな温泉あるんだと。非常に便利な。え、皮膚に胃腸に魅力温泉とかいっぱいあります。あの、皆さん、ちょっとあの、スタミナも回復して、ちょっとゆっくりします。で、BB が偉い喜んで、泳い
あのプライベートルームセーフティーハウスあそこに材料入れると I don't know what makes me feel like you won't be able to be on maybe you can hopefully you'll be able to be on a motorcycle most of the time so you can travel a little quicker but it's also nice to, to go on foot too sometimes I feel like just to take in all the aesthetic pleasures I guess <laughs> Is Wheelie?、Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's gangster. Hopefully, they don't arrest my man for it like they did me. So that sign, I don't know what that's saying. It's not the best place to ride the motorcycle. Like, it looked like a motorcycle on like a bumpy ass road. The crypto bite. Oh! Yo, the crypto bites. <laughs> that's what they picked up. So, the crypto bites are those bugs that you see them eating in the trailers. I'll show it for you right here. That. Is so that the time fall I think doesn't affect you, but he has the、oh, I'm sorry, his ability, him and、uh, Fragile's ability is to sense BTs,、um, not that they don't age from the time fall. Although it looks like some of the time fall hit Sam's hand in one of the trailers and he oh, he did start to age, so actually take that back. Their powers are just to sense BTs, that the time fall can affect them, hence the suit and the boots and all that other stuff. But the crypto bites. Uh, so that I believe if it touches you, it, it doesn't affect you in time fall. It could be for other things. Maybe it's for not being detected by BTs as well. Who knows? And my thing is, you, leave, you left all the stuff. Like, you leave the motorcycle. So now it's like, how do you know? Can you summon that, John? Like, what if? Like, because you're going far. Like, you're not going to come back this way necessarily to come pick that up. Sounds for the feeling. Oh, it's the song. He's actually walking around all the rocks, so you can't really walk over them. I know that sounds like just a random thing to say, but it just gives you an idea of how you're going to have to travel around all this stuff. And we saw this,、uh, how you can pretty much fall down this hill if you're not careful. Well, obviously, traveling is a huge aspect of this game, if not the biggest. You gotta grip the balance, or else you slip and slide. And you also can see that the baby's not always on or activated. Which is really interesting. Because, like, how you know when to turn them on and when to die? It means a bridge baby. But I don't know if that just means when you die, it just makes it so it's easier for you to come back or what. It was tough though, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, this place is pretty decently scaled in the sense that, like, you can see a city in a distance and it's gonna still take you some time to get over there. Like, he's been going down this hill for a minute. But that's cool. That's cool. Oh, see, like, GD Tom delivered materials to the bridge on. Yeah. So, I just again, just more aspects or are, are more just proof that the single player and multiplayer are combined.、Um, but I'm sure with the way we go with games these days, how things get added so much, like by the time that the game that you bought originally is so different by the time its life cycle is up or whatever you want to call it, which is kind of never because it's a video game. But unless, you know, the next one comes out, until the next one comes out.、Um, There's probably going to be a lot of other multiplayer aspects, though. Like, but we'll see. It'd be nice to have the team to team up with somebody to fight on occasion if that's what you want to do. 
会えないですセンサーポールが一致しましたので、えー、とスピードスケルトンですけど、ランセムここ通電してるんで、ここは何本走ってもあの大丈夫です。電池切れないです。で、荷物光ってるのがここに届ける。This man This is Bridget. So, my thing is, did he go backwards? Like, so interesting how they have this. See, I'm Porter Bridges working for Bridges. でこれあの落とし物とかも届けても全然大丈夫ですこれだけじゃなくても別のサブミッションも届けていいですへーでこの配送センターの人が配達にか大衛星代の代わりだって聞いてる間はまさか本当に一人とはだが荷物は完璧だな Well yeah I mean that I mean, it's very,、uh, you know, they're showing us some movie, he's slipping off my chair. There's other, um. It's probably a lot of other stuff to, like, like see.、Um, but this is not bad for two days of gameplay from a game that we have so many questions for. It was, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it was a pretty good way to go about this. It all looks good. I mean, it looks good. It just, it's just that there's so many questions. Um, but that's not always a bad thing. You feel me? It means that, like, when you get the game, you get even more of an experience.、Oh, I guess maybe every time you also go to one of the terminals or one of the other cities and you use the Cupid to unlock it, maybe you have to come back to bridges and you tie them all into bridges. But I'm still not sold on the people in bridges being trying to work for、um, everybody's well being. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I feel like we're about to uncover some crazy conspiracy wild junk. Like, if that happens in the game, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, yeah, y'all are a little too、uh, <laughs> ready for, to send people out to be like, oh, you have to reconnect the cities. I mean, granted, this place is all jacked up. It's all screwed up. Like, I'm not saying, you know, It's not. I still don't understand the whole private room thing and Sam's bracelet. He doesn't seem to be able to take it off ever. He had it on in the, in the bathtub, too. so... And the way d i e h a r m a n was following him, following him around his room was kind of sus, too. And the fact that he always has to come back to Bridges, I don't, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Like, I'm, I'm not with the, the idea that they're not, that they're all good. I don't know. And we're just a bunch of anti heroes. Blood levels restored, battery charged, BB pacified. Oh, so I guess that means the baby's just hooked up to the tool or something. And they gotta collect blood from you? It's been placed in your private locker. I'm never received from Victor Frank's subject about it. A lot going on here. So that's the ending you saw the city. This is the sim stuff I'm talking about. Shower. I mean, why can't he take the bracelet off when he's showering, when he's bathing? His feet are all jacked up. I mean, your feet would be jacked up too. You walking over all this nonsense with all these rocks and things. But yeah, y'all, so that's that. So we got a lot of questions. Man.、Um, I'm gonna stop this. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we got a lot of questions. I'm gonna do the next、uh, one on the 30 minute one, of course.、Um, I'm really just curious. Like, you know, I'm really. 
Alright, there's a lot of questions to be asked, but at least this is the most we've seen of the gameplay. So you know that it's very immersive and that it's very Sims-like as it was a mix of that as well as um, GTA because it's so open world, but also like things like Assassin's Creed. I mean, it feels like the Metal Gear series, or at least the way Metal Gear Solid 5 was, except it's even more interactive with using the bathroom and, and, and bathing, and they didn't really do that in um, Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, you could go shower at the base, but like, he would go in, and he'd be in there for like, you know, 20 seconds or so, and then he'd come back out all refreshed. It's like that, but like, on steroids. So, that's that. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I appreciate y'all watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and then please come back for the 30 minute reaction and i'm doing breakdowns of both so that we can kind of just talk about the info that we think we're getting um because again it's all in japanese so um of course if you're from japan you already know all this stuff you, you, you like you watching the video you already know what's going on uh, probably more so than all of us but i don't know how many i don't know how much he gave us because hideo kojima is very good everybody at keeping us right where he wants us um, and then he strikes with the release of the game so i'm gonna catch y'all then um peace so run back to him while you still can. He's sticking with his wife and kid. Yeah, that's a real man. I was ashamed all along and I still am. We let the lust interrupt something real damn. But girl, we grown, so you got to play your own position. I wouldn't say that you a hoe, just made a whole decision. And you can blame it on the liquor like a prohibition. We both know that's what you wanted, girl. I know you're listening. Hey. Girl, I know you're listening. Uh, I know you're listening. Hey, yeah, shout out to the bootleggers who supply my shit, the fans online trying to find my shit, and to them niggas listening but won't buy my shit, they catch me in the street and want to ride my dick, y'all niggas is the worst, see me like J. Cole, homie, could you sign my burn CD, nigga please, an album ten dollars, you act like it's ten G's, this food for thought costs the same as two number threes, so at ease with that broke shit, we all trying to get a dollar, boy, no shit, you know I feel your pain, therefore I slain this hope shit. And give you lines that you would want.